Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair. And I have a little bit different method of curling my hair than some you may have seen. Um, I tend to do it as if my hair was in hot rollers. And I feel like this is the best way to curl it. I haven't really found anything else that I like as much as this. And this makes the curl last all day. Like, if I curl my hair this way, it is going to last all day and sometimes even into the next day. So I'm going to need a teasing comb. And I really like this one. This is a three row comb. And you can get this at Sally's for a couple dollars. And then you're going to need a lot of bobby pins. Now, I love the bobby pins from Sally's. These are the only ones I will use. They are like the best bobby pins. They don't bend. They don't open. Um, well, they, obviously they open, but they don't bend open when you put too much pressure on them. They just hold on to your hair. Awesome. You're also going to need a brush just to, um, to brush out your hair before you curl it. And then any kind of hairspray. And then you're also going to need a curling iron, obviously. Um, mine is like kind of broken and it only works sometimes so I'm gonna hope this lasts all the way through but I have a one inch curling iron and I've had this one for a few years so I'm not really surprised that it's dying this is a hot tools and I love it like I will not buy any other brand of curling iron because I just think this one is so awesome uh, except for the fact that it is it's going out on me okay so now we'll start with showing you how I actually curl it uh, yesterday I put braids in my hair, so this is my second day hair. I put braids in and I'm just going to keep them in when it's curled, um, so I'm not going to be doing my bangs, but I will show you the rest. First, I'm going to brush everything out. Okay, now that I have everything brushed out, I'm going to take my teasing comb, and this is the three row one as I showed before, and I'm just going to section right behind my bangs and take a piece not ridiculously big. And I'm going to lightly tease it at the roots. Okay, this isn't really lightly teasing. This is like dense teasing. You can skip this teasing part if you want um, your hair to lay more flat on your head. But I'm not a fan of that, so I'm going to go ahead and tease it. And then you're going to take your hairspray and shake it and spray a little bit at the base of your roots. Oh my gosh! Okay, so now you have this chunk. See, it's only about this wide. And you're going to take your curling iron finally hot and put the curling iron on your hair about halfway through not at the very ends and then you're going to twist it and pull it through continue to twist it just so that the heat is a little bit more evenly distributed on your hair and that is definitely going to help everything stay all right and just continue to do that and then leave it at your roots for like 10 seconds just as long as you normally do when you curl it and then because you have that hairspray in there, when you take it out, it's going to form a perfect curl. Um, now this is the important part. You want to keep it in this curl. The reason that your hair will stay curled so well if you do it this way is because when your hair is hot, it is really um, susceptible to um, staying in the style that you put it in. So that's why you curl your hair with a hot iron, you straighten your hair with a hot uh, straightener, um, because that's what locks in the style. So if your hair is hot, and you curl it and then you let the curl down it's gonna set in a your hair is gonna pull and it's gonna set as the curl is pulling so that curl isn't gonna be as defined or as strong because your hair is pulling as it's setting I don't know if that makes sense but anyway so if you keep it in this like rolled position it's gonna guarantee you stay way longer so then to help it stay I just put one or two fingers in this little roll and then I slide a bobby pin in. So now it's not it's not going anywhere. Okay, and then I am going to take my next section right behind the first one. And same thing, first I comb it out and then add a little bit of back combing. Sorry, I'm looking in my mirror which is right behind my camera so that's probably why that's like I'm not actually talking to the camera at all. And then add a little bit of hairspray. And then same thing, start the curling iron from halfway down the hair, roll, slide, roll, and just keep twisting it. And then you should have it tight against your head again. Go until about 10 or until the outer layer is warm. And then slide the 
turn the yarn out and you'll have another one of those rolls. So I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to work all the way down um, from the front of my hair. I'm going to work all the way down to the back. And then when I get done with, with this little mohawk section, I'll show you how I do the sides because they are a little bit different. Okay, so as you can see, this whole thing is like a mohawk just going down the back of my hair. Hope you can see that. Okay, so that's that part. Now we are going to move on to the next section, which are the sides. Um, the sides are going to be a little bit different. You're going to work, the first section is going to be worked in a triangle, and then from then on they're going to be worked in rectangles. Um, but instead of going straight down, we're going to go at more of an angle so, they s angle, so they still curl back and slightly down, um, but they aren't just going to fall flat. Okay, so now we'll start with the sides. Okay, now when this one is curled, you're going to start by wrapping this tail around the bottom, pulling it out, and just continue that so that the curl does go down and not up or whatever. Okay. Alright, now that these ones you're going to have to recurl, so just stick your finger in the center and twist them on up and pin. All right, now I'm just gonna finish this bottom section and do the other half and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done and pinned up. Okay, so now I have everything uh, pinned in my hair. All the curls are done, as you can see. It's really, like my hair is really dark so it's probably kind of hard to see, but all of them are done and pinned down, um, except for this one with the heck. Uh, okay, now they are. Um, so what I usually like to do is just do like a light misting of hairspray all over, which I already did, and then I let it sit. I let all the curls cool completely because if they're warm and you let them down, it'll just defeat the purpose of pinning them to your head. And then when you're done, you just take out all your bobby pins. Um, so my hair feels like everything is cooled. So these bottom ones are going to be more of a flip. And I'm going to take the ones that I did first out first. I'll start from this side. Okay, so now once you have all of the curls out, you can see it is just huge, like your hair will be giant, and that's because of all the teasing and hairspray that you added. Um, now I'm going to quickly turn off my spotlight so I can like see in my mirror what I'm doing, and then I will show you how to fix this so it looks normal. Okay, so I hope you can see this and that my mirror isn't totally in the way, but okay, so now what I do is I just look through and make sure that all the curls are actually curled. This one could use a little bit. And then just leave it alone and let that set. Um, okay, the rest of them look pretty good. So, the first thing you're going to do is, I like to flip my head upside down to do this, so I'm going to do that right now. Flip your head upside down and put your fingers right at the roots and just like, shake it out and loosen some of the teasing that you put in originally. Flip my head upside down. Okay. So this probably doesn't look like it actually did anything to help, but it really did because now you're going to take a comb and just start combing through any pieces 
that are just like way too big. So for me it's like everything, run your fingers through it, just kind of pull some of it down. It's really easy to pull teasing down. Um, it's quite a bit harder to pull to push your hair back up once you already have the curl in it. Okay, so now once you go through and separate all the curls how you like, then just take some more hairspray and really spray that in. Oh my god, there's like a cloud. Okay. Oh my goodness! Alright, and now here's the back. And you can probably tell from this, but I have some really short layers in the back. And then it just cascades down. And this is the finished product. And this will last like... A super super long time so you don't have to worry about your curls falling out and it's great so I hope you enjoyed this and if you did feel free to subscribe I'll be posting more videos soon I'm working on getting either a better camera or some better editing software so I can keep up with the high quality videos or make them better if this one doesn't turn out like I hope it does so thank you so much for watching and I will see you later bye